Hey everyone, and welcome to this series on vibe coding with Cursor. In the last video, you learned how to chat with Cursor and use its AI modes to build features. But what happens when something goes wrong? In this module, we'll break down the basics of debugging, how to read error messages, use your browser tools, and of course, get the help from the AI when things aren't working as expected. So you follow the steps, prompted the AI, and it didn't work. Maybe the page is blank, an error message pops up, or things just look weird. Welcome to the world of debugging, or just fixing issues with our code. There are two main type of problems you will encounter. One is easy to spot, and that's whenever there are red squiggly lines in the code that the AI or you have written. This means that there is something wrong with the code. It will not work until it has been fixed. There are a number of reasons this can happen, but fortunately the AI is pretty good at fixing its own mistakes. The other type of problem you will encounter is a bit less straightforward, and that's when the code is okay, but you try to run it and things are not working as you expected it to. So what is a bug? Broadly speaking, a bug is simply when your software doesn't behave the way you expect it to. It's a glitch, an error, a mistake in the code or logic. When things go wrong, here's a simple process, especially when working with AI. First, try to understand the error message. Error messages often look like cryptic nonsense, but they contain keywords pointing to the file and line number where the problem occurred, and often gives a hint about what went wrong. You can use the AI assistant to explain errors in an easy to understand way. For example, type help me understand the error in the terminal and suggest ways to fix it. If you see a red line in your code, you can click on whatever showing the red line, hit add to chat and ask the same type of question. In the same way, you can mark complete functions or multiple lines of code and select add to chat to ask questions about the code that you've selected. If you're building web apps, your browser's developer tools are your best friend. To access the developer tools, press F12 in your browser or right click on the page and select inspect and then console. Here you simply take a screenshot of the errors displayed in the console and paste it into cursor to get help fixing the errors. After I've shared a screenshot of the errors in the console with the AI assistant, it starts looking into my project to figure out how to fix them. Now, sometimes you'll encounter that the AI ends up trying to fix an error, introduces a new error, tries to fix this error and reintroduces a prior error and essentially goes down a rabbit hole in an endless loop. And this can happen, but don't worry. We can always make use of the checkpoint feature in cursor to go back to where our code was working, improve our prompt and try again. Simply hit the restore checkpoint button and modify your prompt. Maybe you need to be more specific, or once you get more experienced, you'll learn to detect certain errors and mistakes that the AI is making, and uh, you can use this to guide it better in your revised prompt. The great thing is that we have our AI assistant always ready to help us with debugging. And often it will even fix the issue without you having to do anything. Remember to provide enough context. Don't just paste the error, also highlight the relevant block of code or use the at to reference the file in question and ask, what does this error mean in the context of this code? Why might this code be causing this error? Can you suggest how to fix it? So why not just let it fix it for you? Well, fixing the bug is great, but the real win is understanding why it happened. This builds your intuition and helps you write better prompts and code next time. Once you start understanding what goes wrong, you can even update your cursor rule to avoid these issues from happening again in the future. If both you and the AI assistant are struggling with understanding what goes wrong and how to fix it, a pro tip is to ask the AI to add some logging to better understand what goes wrong or where things are not working as intended. Simply say something like, help me add some logging so that we can better understand and debug these issues. Debugging might feel frustrating initially, but think of it as detective work. With a logical approach and your AI assistant by your side, you can squash those bugs and get back to building. 